Saint Lorenzo Ruiz is a Filipino saint venerated in the Catholic Church. A Chinese Filipino, he became his country's proto-martyr after his execution in Japan by the Tokugawa shogunate during its persecution of Japanese Christians in the 17th century. Lorenzo was born around 1600 in the Binondo district of Manila to a Catholic, Chinese, and Filipino couple. His father taught him Chinese, while his mother taught him Tagalog. The Spaniards ruled over the lands for 333 years, and because of this, Lorenzo spoke three languages, Tagalog, Spanish, and Chinese. He attended a school run by Spanish Dominican friars, as well as serving as an altar boy and a sacristan for the church in his district of Manila. The Dominicans, for their part, taught Lorenzo Spanish, as well as how to read and write. So good was his penmanship that he eventually became a professional calligrapher and a clerk. Inspired by the Dominicans, Lorenzo joined the Confraternity of the Holy Rosary. Contemporaries noticed, in a particular way, his honesty and trustworthiness, to the point that the Dominican friars made him their unofficial messenger as well. Lorenzo grew up and married a Filipino woman named Rosario, and with her had three children. He continued to work as a clerk and as a translator for the Spaniards, and their life remained normal. Lorenzo kept his close ties with the Dominicans and helped them in ministering to the people in Manila, especially those in the Binondo district. He led a peaceful and content life. His normal life took a bad turn when he was implicated in the murder of a Spaniard one day. Nothing further is known except the statement of two Dominicans that he was sought by the authorities on account of a homicide to which he was present or which was attributed to him. Ruiz couldn't trust the courts. He knew that much. A lifetime of colonial inequality had taught him that a legal battle between Spaniards and Filipinos under Spanish laws wasn't a legal battle at all. He knew that he couldn't turn to the government for help. He decided to leave his home and seek a safe place to hide for a while. He said goodbye to Rosario and left home in the darkness of night. He confided his problem to Father Domingo Gonzalez, a Dominican priest. The priest was kind towards Lorenzo, and he was allowed to board their ship. Little did Lorenzo know that they were part of a secret missionary to Japan. Lorenzo was under the impression that they were headed to Macau. He was quite surprised when they told him that they were headed to Japan. The three Dominican priests were St. Antonio Gonzalez, St. Guillermo Cortet, and St. Miguel de Azora and St. Miguel de Azoraza. There was a Japanese priest present named St. Vicente Shiwazuka de la Cruz, and also a lay leper, St. Lazaro of Kyoto. All of them sailed for Okinawa on June 10, 1636. As soon as the group landed in Japan, they were arrested. A violent persecution against Christians was being enforced by Emperor Tokugawa Yamitsu to prevent the spread of Christianity in Japan. The missionaries were arrested and thrown into prison, and after two years, they were transferred to Nagasaki to face trial by torture. The group endured many and various cruel methods of torture. Back in Manila, Rosario never heard a word from Lorenzo, and no one knew what had become of him. Once the group of missionaries reached Nagasaki, they were to face trials and torture for being a Christian. The emperor gave them an offer. They could leave Japan 
as long as they were willing to renounce their faith. The missionaries agreed to leave Japan, but they said they will never renounce their faith. This made the shogun lord extremely furious, for none has ever refused the shogunate before. Unaccustomed to rejection, the shoguns considered the group's decision as an insult to their empire and immediately sent the prisoners to their slow and painful execution. While they were put back in the jail, they witnessed the tortures other prisoners had to endure for not obeying the emperor. The prisoners were forced to drink inhuman amounts of water. They were stabbed, pressed, soaked, and repeatedly crushed. Their captors emphasized that the torture would stop if they renounced their faith. When Lorenzo saw this, he got terrified for a moment. It was just a moment when he fell into a spiritual darkness. He quickly prayed the rosary and found relief and had more courage than before. He even started comforting his companions in jail, asking them to have faith in the Lord's grand plan. That night, he prayed the rosary as often as he could. Then came the day of execution. The missionaries were subjected to water torture first. Despite the painful torture, the men refused to renounce their faith. Following this, the soldiers hung the missionaries upside down over a large pit. One among the soldiers took pity on Lorenzo and persuaded him to renounce his faith to end his agony. Lorenzo answered, This I will never do, because I am a Christian, and I shall die for God, and for him I would give many thousands of lives if I had them. And so, do with me as you please. Lorenzo died from bleeding and suffocation, and so did the other missionaries. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz died as he lived, a servant of the Lord. There are countless miracles attributed to Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. The one that stands out the most was the story of Cecilia Allegria Policarpio, a two-year-old girl suffering from a rare brain disease. One night, as her family and supporters prayed to Ruiz for his intercession, the saint appeared to her in a vision. In her recollection, Cecilia said she was lying on her bed, unable to move from the pain when she noticed a light. She remembered seeing a man holding a rosary, looking up to the heavens. The following morning, her illness was completely gone. She was able to sit on the bed by herself for the first time in her life. Lorenzo was beatified by Pope John Paul II on February 18, 1981. The beatification ceremony was held in the Philippines, making it the first beatification ceremony ever held outside the Vatican. His canonization took place at the Vatican on October 18, 1987. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz is the patron saint of Filipino youth, the Philippines, people working overseas, and altar servers. <laughs>